going on there, YouTube? Uh, back burner project. Something I've been wanting to do for a while. I've been wanting to do another Trail Finder 2. I've had lots of parts sitting around. I, I started another frame at one point and changed my mind. Um, if you remember back, I bought the long wheel base. I bought a used one off eBay. It had the F350 body, Tamiya body, and it had the dually wheels. And I just, I was going to make a tow rig, but it just never panned out. I just lost interest in it. So I've been wanting, ever since I sold my Blazer a year or two ago, I don't remember, I've been wanting to do another square body. I'm a Chevy guy, and I feel like I naked without having one here in the shop. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to do that with this, and I'm going to go with the long wheelbase frame. But you remember back also I had the um, terrain kit, the RC four-wheel drive terrain RTR truck with the Lexan body. And I picked that up, and it was it, it's 379 I don't think they're still available anymore. It was a heck of a deal for parts. I mean, you get a full RTR truck, axles, transfer case, transmission, motor, servo, ESC, all the works, radio, for that price. And it had these K44 Ultimate Scale axles. And I did a test run on that, and I only drove it once, and that was it. And it's just been sitting. I took it apart and put the Pro Air RC Air Ride on it just to test it. And, uh, yeah, I've done nothing else with it. I've been wanting to rip these axles off, and I just hadn't... Uh, Hadn't had the time to do it with all the other big builds going on, so I finally did it. These, uh, the K44 in the front, this first one I've seen on the front axle, I think it's pretty beefy. It's got uh, dual arms for the steering link on both sides, and uh, plus it looks more American. If we're going to go with a, with a square body, that's going to be a better fitting looking axle. So um, I do want to keep this leaf spring. My really good favorite TF2, the first one I ever built, I pieced together back before I could afford to buy a Trail Finder 2 kit. It ended up getting 3-link and 4-link. And it's an excellent truck. It crawls over anything. It's just fantastic. But I feel like something's missing not being leaf spring. So we're going to make this one a leaf spring because it is going to be a, a Chevy. So we'll keep it leaf sprung all the way around. Um, one thing I didn't notice until I took it apart, that terrain kit even came with a metal servo horn, an aluminum. Like all the other RC four wheel drive kits, where's my axle? Came with a little plastic dinky sawed down thing. So that's another improvement, another nice feature that that truck came with. And it'll be a good donor truck for all of its uh, electronics and things. We'll probably use that basic ESC on this. Um, already has the axial 35 turn motor on it. I have the RC four wheel drive 35 turn motor that was in that as well. And the standard uh, twister high torque servo. I've got several of those. I'm out of spare Savox right now so they're decent it's not fantastic but they're not nearly as noisy as those Savox I had were so we're gonna roll with that um but like I said leaf springs and I'm just gonna set it up basic at first I've got red leaf springs the soft ones that RC four-wheel drive offers but I'm not gonna put them on right now until we get the rig fully built running and then we start building the body for it because you don't know where the weight's gonna take us I know my K5 Blazer, which I regret selling. <laughs> uh, I feel like I need another Chevy in the shop now since I sold that. But that thing, I had, I think I had three or four Leafs. It had the V8. It had everything. And, uh, yeah, and it still flexed like a scale truck. And that was just due to the sheer weight of everything that was going on. Had a resin back seat, a full interior, the hard top, roof rack, rear bumper, tire. I mean, it was loaded down, so... I'm not going to worry about adjusting the leaf springs right now. We just want to get it up and running. <clears throat> uh, another new part I've got here from RC Four Wheel Drive is the Delrin Low Profile Skid Plate. And that's going to shave about 5 millimeter off of uh, ground clearance, or add about 5 millimeter to it. But the thing is with the long wheelbase Trail Finder 2, you have this shaft here. And I don't believe I can use that still. We'll have to see. I think in moving this up we're going to mess that up but that's not a big deal we can just run a longer drive shaft on the back and you know we don't need a carrier bearing per se it's not that much longer than a standard trail finder 2 and i've heard of people doing that as a performance mod because it's just taking some of the uh slag especially if you lift it up pretty high that puts your pinion angles terrible for your, your drive line so if you move it back up here to the transfer case it angles down a little bit and gives you a better performance out of it. Not sure about the shocks. These were the, uh, I think they're 80 mil shocks, probably just Chinese ones. 
that came on the uh, truck when I got it. So I don't know what they are, if they're going to work where they are or anything like that. We'll just cross that bridge when we get there. They feel decent, but they're not, you know, I don't know what we're going to do yet. So I just want to get it rolling. I want to get some of the mods done. Um, I'm probably going to swap out, depending on the ride height that we're looking at, I'm probably going to swap in the Jalan 2 front shock hoops. That does give you a little bit more travel. I know it does on a stock trail finder too. So I'm hoping something like this it will as well. We can run a little bit longer shock if we have to. But um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Let's go ahead and start tearing this thing apart. And get that trans transfer case mount on. Get the axles in. Start looking at our driveline situation. got it all together got it rolling uh, I do need a longer rear drive shaft the uh, carrier bearing deal that comes on the long wheelbase it is a little bit too uh, low that transfer case cross member moved it up about four or five millimeter like a like I thought it would um, these body mounts I'm not sure those came with this chassis they are a lot nicer I think they're for that, the RC4 drive used to make, may still offer a body mount set for that Tamiya F350 body on the Trail Finder 2. And I'm thinking that's where those came from. Um, I opted to use those because I don't know where any of the little plastic ones are. And the uh, Blazer bodies have a, another piece that goes on here that makes, you know, makes it a little bit wider because that Blazer body is a fair bit wider. But uh, I was really tempted to cut the body in half tonight just to bolt the cab front up but I don't know yet what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna hold off be patient um, I do have some more little upgrades just stuff that I've had forever I'm gonna swap this uh, fancy aluminum fuel cell on in place of the plastic one uh, I went ahead and used these shocks um, they work they, they fit good I did have to add lift blocks I forgot to mention that the tie rod the steering links on the front axle of this K44 are thicker than normal and it was going to interfere with the leaf spring so I went ahead I had two they're probably what three millimeter lift blocks left from the kit that they don't offer anymore as lift blocks and on the rear I just used some uh, three millimeter rod spacers I used four of them to uh, space it up a little bit so it was level because I don't want the back squatting too much but uh I like the stance so far, and I think with the body and everything, it's going to be pretty good height. It's going to be somewhere around there. We might have to go a little higher, and we can always play with the wheel arches and stuff on the body as we get there, but I don't know what I want to do yet. I don't know how aggressive I want this to be. These are the RC four-wheel drive 155 Landys reversed. Um, I talked about these a long time ago when I built the other K10 truck. And uh, they are reversible from stock, so they don't look like Land Rover wheels. When you flip them out, they look like old Chevy Rally wheels, the right size. 
you remember RC four wheel drive makes a very scale Chevy looking rally wheel, but they're only available in one nine, and they are a little bit big for even this big old body. To me, they don't look like a stock fifteen or sixteen like this does. They look more like a eighteen or so. So it doesn't doesn't quite fit right for me. But I don't know. Uh, I like these wheels for this, but I might want a more aggressive tire. You know, it, you can't go wrong with like a, a Super Swamper or something on here. Um, I believe these wheels have been discontinued as well. Uh, dated am I, everything I have RC four-wheel drive is outdated and discontinued. Um, they are still available in white, I believe, but not the bare metal finish. This this raw steel, they're dusty and dirty because they have been used before, but it's a nice look. kind of has a, a gray bronze, just like a factory color steel steel wheel after it's been out in the sun for a while. And uh, they will rust a little bit. These haven't seen much water, so they don't have... But a little bit of, you can feel it more than you can see it. A little bit of texture on them. Alright guys, I couldn't resist. Uh, man, this thing looks nice. Um, I was talking with Nightcrawlers 3D about maybe another Apache cab to go with the bed that I already have. So, I don't know. I really was hoping to do a square body, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> that thing looks awesome. I like it. But uh, anyways, I appreciate you watching. See you on the next video.